Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Jessica, welcome back. Today I'm excited because we are starting our new quilt along. We're making this quilt here behind me, the Stargazer quilt. I'll link to the pattern below in case you wanna join us. I have the quilt along broken out into a certain step each week. This week we're working on making the nine patches. So there are two different types of nine patches. There's this standard one here. It has a diagonal of red and two corners of pink and the rest is white. If you can see up here towards the top, we have an N9 patch. So this one's a little bit different on the layout. But this week we're working on making all of those that we need for the quilt. Let's get started. This quilt pattern comes in three sizes, but for these demo blocks, I'm gonna be making the largest size because I feel like you'll be able to see it the best. So the first step here is to make the end block. And these are made with squares instead of strips. We don't need as many of them as we do the regular nine patch unit. So first, I'm just gonna take my pieces that I have cut out and I'm gonna lay them out. This is what the end unit looks like. We have two pinks back here. We have four whites and then we have three reds laid out in this orientation. I'm using a quarter inch foot and I'm just gonna sew this together in a grid um, kind of fashion. Now you could sew this in rows across or you could sew it in a grid like I'm doing here. If right now I'm only making one of these units just to show you how they're made, but if I was going to make um, these units for my quilt, what I would do is I would chain piece all of them. So I would do the first two columns of all of the blocks right here, and I would just keep chain piecing these through. And then once those were all chain pieced together in a whole long strip, I'd cut that and I'd go back to the beginning, and then I would add the third column to every single one of them. So what I do is I like to keep the threads hooked. I just open this up. each At each uh, spot, I open it up and put the next one on. Now, as your pieces get smaller, this becomes a little bit more difficult just because you're working in a smaller area. So these are one and a half inch squares, which are pretty small already, um, but the other, the two smaller sizes of the pattern you use even smaller pieces. So um, you'll be able to do this for sure. It's just that it might feel tight because you're working so close together. I would chain piece the rest till I add my third column to every single one. Then I would cut my threads. And then I would come in and I'd, I'd count one, two, three, and I'd clip. One, two, three, and I'd clip just to separate my nine patches apart. So here you'll see I have these three strips. They're joined together. And I'm just going to sew this together. So for this one, I'm going to push my seams into the middle. And I'm gonna fold one side on top. I'm making sure my seams are nesting. Now I cut this pink from my um, scraps. So my squares are not perfect here. They're not exactly, I have some that are exact, like this one looks like it's actually one and a half inches. And that top one is a little shy on the top. Um, but as long as it's less, like I can show you here, see? See how this white's sticking over? It's because this pink isn't, uh, perfectly square it I think I cut this from a triangle and I just didn't have enough to get that perfect but I let that go if it's less than an eighth of an inch I let it go so I used it anyway um, and now I'm just gonna turn it around and sew this other one on when I'm picking from scraps sometimes I just use what I have I don't it doesn't have to be perfect so here we go we just finished this one and you'll repeat those steps to make the number of end nine patches that you need for your quilt. So I'll set this aside, and now we're gonna work on the regular nine patches that we need. So for those, we need quite a few of them. So I strip piece here. And the three colors that I'm using for the first strip set are pink, white, and red. I'm gonna start by piecing, and I, and I did make these shorter. These are just 21 inches long instead of being the full length, but it's just so you get the idea of what I'm doing. Um, I don't need that whole length to do that. So here I put my white on top of my pink, and I just, you can pin this if you like. I usually just work in little sections, so I'm gonna hold my thumb down here, and I know that right to that point, that everything is just how it's supposed to be and lined up correctly. And if it's not lined up behind it, that's fine. Because when my thumb goes by the presser foot, I stop and then I just realign. And I'll just repeat that 
this step all the way down the length of my strips. So this is gonna be the same method for making all of your strip sets. You put the middle one on top of the left one. So all the way down this strip. Then I'm gonna cut the thread. You can chain piece if you want and just keep doing all your strips at once. But for right now, I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna put the next color, which is my red, on top of the white. So here we go. Okay, then I'm going to take a pause just to adjust. And just continue this all the way down until we have this strip set made. So you will make all of your strip set A's in the same manner. Now if you wanted, you can go and press here uh, just to get this laying nice and flat because we are going to trim this shortly. I'm going to piece my strip set B and then we're going to trim them both together. So let me get my strip set B pieces. Now for my strip set B's, I'm using white, red, white. So you make these in exactly the same way. I'm going to put my second uh, color on top of my first color. And then I'm just going to stitch down the length of this. Then I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to lay my white on top of my red, which is my third color, on top of my middle color. And then you have a strip B set. So you're gonna make all of your A sets and all of your B sets just like that. If you wanted to press for this one, I would press the seams in toward the center and I would press the opposite for this one with the seams out towards the colors for the A. So next step is to trim these. Now you could press these if you wanted, but you absolutely don't have to, that's just your choice. Um, when you're pressing them, if you are, you need to make sure that you're not warping or distorting them because you don't want your nine patches to be distorted. So um, you just gently, very gently press these. Uh, this one, when you're pressing the seams toward the middle here, I it's a little bit of a trickier situation than just pressing them out like we just did. So I just glide up along here to set that seam and then I kind of just open this up. Now if we were if we were not trimming, uh, I would not press here and for my own blocks I still will not. I'm comfortable trimming them when they're floppy but I know many people don't operate like that. So um, that side is pressed. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it over and work from the back here. And you'll see because I was cutting from scraps, these are not the right sizes. So disregard that, your pieces will all be uh, the same, same length. But um, I'm just cutting this one from scraps. So then you just keep pressing this other side. There. And once, once this lays like, you know, relatively flat like that, I would say it's good because you can trim this real nicely. The next step in making these nine patches is to trim. So the reason why people like to strip piece is because it saves a little bit of time. So first, when you're cutting the fabric, you just cut this into strips. So it saves you time there because you're cutting strips into individual squares. Second, when you're piecing, you're just sewing a straight line down a whole length of fabric and you're not sewing individual squares together. Now we come to the part where we trim these. So you're just going to trim these uh, at the increments, you know, listed in whatever pattern you're making because there are three different sizes, so they all have their own. Uh, and you'll just make sure you have a really nice straight edge. You'll lay your edge of your ruler onto it, and you're just going to trim. And this is going to give you the middle of your nine patch because right now I'm cutting strips at B. So just by cutting these here, you're getting the middle row of your nine patch like all together already. Then you have the same thing for strip set A. You wanna make sure you have a really nice um, straight edge. So if your edge wasn't straight here, you would just trim a little bit off to make it straight. And then you're going to trim. Now this is gonna be the top row and the bottom row of your nine patch. So you're making more strip set A's than you are making strip set B's, but all that is in your pattern. And you're just going to come 
and cut these. So you'll repeat this and cut all of your strip sets into the A or the B segment. Once you have them all your segments cut for both A and B, you're going to go back to your sewing machine and make the nine patches. Let's make one of those nine patches together. I'm taking two segment A's and one segment B. And the way that this is going to be laid out is like this. So for the end nine patches, they form this little triangle. But in the regular nine patches, we're doing a diagonal. So I'm going to turn this sideways and we're actually going to sew these. Now, if I was doing all mine at once, I would absolutely be chain piecing. So I would take a top row and a middle row of every single one and I would chain piece them all through. And after I chain piece all of those, I would cut the thread. I keep them all attached in a line still, and then I would go through the line, opening them up one at a time, adding this third row. Then we just go ahead and we sew the third row on, and if you are chain piecing, you do that for every single one. And then when you are finished chain piecing them, you'd cut your thread at the end and then snip apart between each one, and you'd be left with a nine patch at every single one. So these are our main nine patch units. You need to make quite a few of these, so that's our assignment this week. We're strip piecing the strips, cutting them, then we're sewing them back together into the regular nine patch, and we are also making our end nine patches. And we need quite a few less of these, so that's why these are made with the squares. It's the best use of fabric to do it that way. So you're gonna get practice using them, making nine patches with squares and making nine patches with strips. And there we have it. So we made our regular nine patches and our end nine patches. And that's the assignment again for this week. So if you have any questions on making these blocks, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. And if not, good luck making your units and I will see you back here next week.